I think most of you have, but I think I probably have just as many stories to tell, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, when I met him 10 years ago, I didn't realize what an adventure I was about to go on. Um, I didn't know what being married to an electrician was really all about. I thought, you know, that's really cool, you know, I'm going to get ceiling fans installed and I'm going to get, um, my yard is going to have nice lighting and my pool is going to be well lit. And little did I know that when I reached down to plug in an appliance, I came back with a cord that was cut because he needed the plug to fix something else. So, I just didn't know. that he would use duct tape to wrap my Christmas presents or electrical tape, <laughs> but I loved it anyway. Um, I also didn't know what a hazard this job was, you know. Of course I realized, you know, electricity and electrocution was a real hazard, but I didn't know I would get a phone call from work saying that uh, his friend, I think it was Leon, was taking him to the hospital because he got a pick in the head. And I'm thinking a pick, like an ice pick? Were you guys having some kind of party or what's going on? Um, but apparently it's a, he was digging a ditch and it bounced off the trailer and it came back and hit him in the head. Um, I had I the hard air on though. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, that was going to be the first time of many that I would be rushing to the hospital to be with Brian. Um, I didn't know 10 years ago that, you know, hospital visits were going to be a real commonplace. Uh, first it was his left foot surgery, then the right foot, and this was all from playing really hard football back in high school. Um, a kidney stone, and then we had the right shoulder surgery. Uh, and by this time, I was thinking, okay, this guy is really unlucky. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. But then he had a puncture wound in his elbow, and he spent a week um, with a blood infection in the hospital. Then uh, ICU for his broken neck from the motorcycle accident, you know, bruised ribs, and then the left shoulder surgery. And then it sort of dawned on me, okay, this didn't have anything to do with luck. It, it is his determination to succeed at any cost is what is going on here. I didn't know what Bulldog Tough meant 10 years ago. Um, I was not a dog person when I met Brian and well that quickly changed. We had Gypsy two weeks after our wedding we brought home our little dog Spunky and Three years ago, for Father's Day, we got this bulldog, and Brian named him Buckus, uh, Dick Buckus, and that was Brian's favorite football player, and it was only recently that I looked up what Dick Buckus was all about. So Wikipedia writes this. He says, Dick Buckus is widely regarded as one of the best and most durable linebackers of all time. He was one of the most feared and intimidating linebackers of his time. And that's the same determination that Brian has. And so I didn't know, but now it makes all sense what Bulldog Buckus is all about. So when we got Buckus, the little bulldog that, that he was, he would charge through the house, putting his head down, knocking over chairs and tables, um, you know, moving the table across the room in order to get to his bowl, right? So, you know, he was a linebacker, and I was realizing, you know, he had a goal. And then I look at Brian, and I see him racing through the woods, bouncing off the trees, and I realized, um, you know, Brian was bulldog tough. Um, we now have a German shepherd who picked up little Buckus and tore his neck open, and it was only about a week went by that Buckus was back to annoying Chloe, and um, Brian had his neck torn off from cancer, 
and it was only a couple months before Brian was back on his bike, and he was riding 50 miles at 12,000 feet in Colorado. And so now I know what bulldog tough means. I also didn't know what true fat friends meant. And when Brian first got sick while he laid on the sofa, he started spending a lot of time on Facebook. And we found out how many people truly cared about him. Um, the neighbors, old working buddies, the biking community, old school friends, and total strangers. Without having that connection, I don't believe that he would have made it this far, and I think he would have given up this sport. This support has been so unbelievable. I think this right here might actually be the cure for cancer. So, without all you people supporting and encouraging him, he would, we would be right now sitting alone on the couch, and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts that we will never forget this. One more thing that I didn't know about 10 years ago with eight years of marriage, that I would still be getting flowers on a regular basis, and that he would still be opening the car door for me wherever we go, and that he would still be holding my hand while we drove to the store or walked down the street. Whatever we did, we did together, um, half marathon, we did 24-hour road ride, mountain biking races, whatever we did, we did together. It's only been a few, ten years, but I've had more adventures than most people who've been married 50 years. So I am blessed. A lot of things I didn't know, and now that I know, I would do it all over again. No question.